let us take one last question from this topic of search and indices so given question here is x power b by x power c whole to the power of b plus c minus a into x power c by x power a whole to the power of c plus a minus b x power a by x power b whole to the power of a plus b minus c is equal to what and we have got four answer options here option a is one option b is x power a b c option c is x power a plus b plus c and option c is option d is x power a b plus b c plus c a now there is no particular method in which these questions can be answered directly right these type of questions are all different from each other right every question is different from uh, the other one all we need to do is simplify using the laws of search and indices and find out what is going to be the correct answer and the other way of answering these questions in fact a smarter way of answering these questions is to go by substituting some random values in place of x a b and c and the same values in the given answer options and find out which uh, option satisfies the given expression so let's look at both the methods and see what is the correct answer for this question so going by the traditional method all we need to do is apply the laws of search and indices right x power b by x power c the bases are equal and in division form so the powers have to be subtracted so this becomes x power b minus c whole to the power of b plus c minus a we know that a power m whole power n is equal to a power n into a power n so we get multiplication of b minus c with b plus c minus a into similarly the second term it will be c minus a multiplied with c plus a minus b into the third term it will be a minus b multiplied with a plus b minus c now simply multiply and find out the product and then add all the powers so why do we add the powers look at the basis x x and x the bases are equal and the terms are getting multiplied so the powers can be added right so let's simplify this will be x power what do we get uh, b into b b square plus bc minus ab minus bc minus c square plus bc are you able to follow b into b b square b into c b c b into a minus a b minus c b or minus b c minus c square minus into minus, minus c into minus a plus a c plus the next set now right anyway there is a common base so the powers have to be added c into c c square plus c into a c a minus c into b minus c b minus a c minus a square plus a b and the last part here a into a a squared plus a b minus a c minus b a minus b squared minus into minus plus b c now simplify this expression here right so see what happens here is there any uh, cancellations yes minus b c plus b c gets cancelled right and plus c a minus c a gets cancelled uh, plus a b minus a b gets cancelled then i think plus a c and minus a c uh, minus a b and plus a b minus b c plus b c minus a square plus a square plus c square minus c square plus b square and minus b square so i think all the terms in the power here gets cancelled so what are we left with x power zero and if you remember we have discussed in the introduction that any base to the power of zero is equal to one so the answer for this question has to be option a one so that's how you can quickly work on the power here and arrive at the correct answer this looks to be lengthy but you can simplify it uh, really quick and do the uh, simplification to get the correct answer okay. and there are different ways of multiplying this for example we have multiplied each term in the first part with each term in the second part otherwise you can take it as b minus c into b plus c so b square minus c square at a plus b into a minus b and then b minus c with minus a so minus a b plus a c and so on for the other parts as well all right now let's look at the other way of answering such questions now this method may not be applicable for every question that we get in this form but if you apply and substitute the values intelligently for a b and c and x you will be able to find out the answer in most of the cases so let's see what can be done now all we need to do here is if you observe in the question as well as in the answer options we have got different variables x a b and c so substitute some random values in place of all the four variables x a b and c and check which answer option satisfies it may so happen that more than one option satisfies uh, the given values so that is the reason you have to pick up the values in a smart way for example if i take x equal to 1 let's say 
if i take x equal to 1 every uh, option will be correct right whatever be the values of a b c 1 power anything is 1 in the denominator 1 power anything is 1 so 1 power again overall anything will be equal to 1 so 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 first option is 1 but since x is equal to 1 1 power a b c is also equal to 1 1 power a plus b plus c is also equal to 1 and 1 power 1 plus 1 plus 1 a b plus b c plus c is also equal to 1 so all the four options come out to be 1 all right so that is the reason we have to pick up the values uh, in a smart way for example x equal to 1 doesn't help we should take something more than 1 now this does not mean that we take x equals to 12 or you know 8 or something which we like the higher the values you take the complex the calculation becomes so let's try to take x equals to 2 let's see so let's assume x equals to 2 now how about a b c you can take any value you want right but then uh, you know it should be uh, make sure that we don't get you know more than one option satisfying the given values right so i think uh, let's take 1 2 3 a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 3 let's see what happens so a is equal to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 3 so what are we going to do now substitute these values in the given expression find out the value then substitute the same values in the answer options and check which option satisfies so 2 power b b is equal to 2 so 2 power 2 divided by 2 power 3 whole to the power of b plus c 2 plus 3 minus a is equal to 1 into 2 power 3 by x power a so 2 power 1 whole to the power of c plus a so 3 plus 1 minus b is equal to 2 minus 2 then 2 power 1 divided by 2 power 2 b is equal to 2 then a plus b plus c a plus b minus c so 1 plus 2 minus 3 now simplify this part see 2 power 2 by 2 power 3 is 2 power minus 1 right a power m by a power n is equal to a power m minus n so 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and what is this 2 plus 3 minus 1 2 plus 3 minus 1 is 5 minus 1 4 this is uh, 3 plus 1 4 4 minus 2 is 2 and 1 plus 2 3 3 minus 3 is 0 so let's simplify now so inside what we have 2 power minus 1 whole to the power of 4 into 2 power 3 by 2 power 1 will be equal to 2 power 2 2 power 2 whole to the power of 2 into this is equal to what 2 power 1 minus 2 minus 1 whole to the power of 0 now what do we get a power m whole to the power of n a power mn so 2 power minus 4 into 2 into 2 4 so 2 power 4 into 2 power minus 1 whole to the power of 0 anything to the power of 0 any base to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so what are, what do we have 2 power minus 4 into 2 power plus 4 or it's like 1 by 16 2 power minus 4 equals to 1 by 2 power 4 so 1 by 16 into 16 equals to 1 so this can be taken as 1 what's the other way of doing this you can say bases are equal so add the powers so 2 power minus 4 plus 4 2 power 0 2 power 0 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so by substituting these values in the given expression we have got 1 now we have to substitute the same values in all the answer options remember does not mean that if here we have got 1 directly you mark 1 as the answer it may so happen that by substituting the values in these options we may get 1 in some of the answer options there so we have to be careful okay now let's substitute so first option anyway is directly the constant one we cannot do any substitution substitute in the second option x equals to 2 now 2 power a b c 1 into 2 into 3 is this going to be 1 no this is 2 power 6 2 power 6 is 64 our answer is 1 so this is cancelled look at second option this is going to be 2 power 1 plus 2 plus 3 2 power 6 again 2 power 6 64 cannot be the answer because we have got 1 as the value by using x equals to 2, a equals to 1, b equals to 2 and c equals to 3. Substitute the third option. You can directly say that even this does not satisfy because 2 power anything there. 2 power, it is going to be a positive value. 2 power, even if it is 1, 2 power 1 is 2. But what we want is 1. However, 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 3, 6, 3 into 1, 3. So 2, 6 and 3 we'll get 11 2 power 11 right no way that this is the answer so what is left out only option number one so we can say option a one is the correct answer so this is one way of answering such type of questions right uh, just substitute some values in place of all the different variables in both the given expression in the question as well as the answer options and see which option satisfies but you have to be careful in some cases we may find that more than one option satisfies uh, the given values then you'll have to change the values and check again 
right so choose the values in such a way that neither the cal calculation becomes complex nor do we get more than one option satisfying the uh, given expression otherwise you can always go ahead and apply the laws of indices and laws of search and check what is the correct answer so i think with this question we come to the end of this session on search and indices uh, we have covered all the varieties of questions that can be uh, asked from this topic in various competitive exams now practice is the key right practice on different types of questions the approach is important i don't say that every question here is covered because these type of questions if you see every question looks to be different right so you may tomorrow come and say that this question was not covered in the session but understand the approach is important like what we have discussed in the last question here and then approach of arranging the given search in ascending or descending order the approach of rationalizing to you know simplify the given expression and the uh, approach of you know uh, equating the powers when the bases are uh, equal in the given equation right so i think with these ideas you should be able to answer the questions from search and indices effectively if you practice uh, enough on different types of questions. So keep practicing. See you in the next session. Thank you.